Hello, everybody, Vesper here, and welcome back to Hand of Fate. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we actually beat the dealer last time, but now you all know what that means. It's time for an endless mode run. What the fuck is this? Adventure. This adventure has no specific upgrades or rule changes. This provides the standard game experience with no special modifications or rules. Wait a minute. There are modifications? The player should ah uh, provides an all-around easier gameplay. Well, easy mode, default mode, hard mode, and apparently these guys look like they are locked somehow. How do I unlock these guys then? How do I unlock you? I don't know. But hard mode is the warlock, faster combat, player moves faster. Attacks faster in combat, stronger enemies, stronger counterattacks, bandits, throwing knives. Uh, let's just go with this standard adventure. What's the loadout? Oh! You can see what you start with? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's neat. Okay, so the standard adventure starts with 100 health, 100 max health, food, 20 plus 5 for some reason, 10 gold, ga health gained from eating is 6, health lost from starving is 9. We have the normal shield, the normal uh, fine sword, medium armor, and we have the three rings that we always start with. I'm going to go ahead and just go with the normal one because that's what we've been doing rather than having any extra kind of challenges. I have made my wager. I'll also make my deal. You have questions, and I will provide answers. I, you never... After all, that is why you came here, is it? But you never provided answers. 50% use really? for a free artifact use. What are you going to do? Toxic blood. Any hits on the player during combat has a chance to poison the attacker. That sounds like fantastic. <gasps> Score and level. Ooh. That sounds like a fun time. What's our first thing? We have some resources, which is so a brand new card. After all. You make your way to the sacrificial... To the s oh. Oh, the stones from the druids last time that they said meet us at this place if you want to earn some gold. Anyway, you make your... S blah, 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 blah. You make your way to the sacred stones at midday on the summer solstice. The druids, still clad from head to toe in their long robes, are all standing quietly on the stones waiting for you. One of them speaks. We are... What? We are ready to begin. You pace the perimeter... Oh, okay. You pace the perimeter of the stones while the druids form a circle and begin chanting. Soon their low droning attracts the attention of some ratmen. Troll 2 monster cards, including two, four plague in total. Okay, so two two plague cards. Woo! Let's kill some ratmen, shall we? Hi, how's it going? You, oh, I brought... <laughs> what the fuck? I keep forgetting that there's like environmental things that you can actually break. Let's go ahead and... Oh god, dodge that. Let's go ahead. Oh, smack it first, smack it first. Oh my god, I smacked it first. This thing I can break. Yeah. Ow. Fuck you. Oh, they're not... None of them died? Oh god. Stop lunging at me. That's the one thing I don't like about the Ratman is that they will lunge at your face. Was that, was that, oh no, one of them hit me. Wait, why is Toxic Blood active? It just showed like it was activated for some reason and I don't know why that is. Ow, ow, what's happening? What the fuck was happening? I was just taking damage for like no reason whatsoever. Did I like walk into some spikes or walk out of the map? What the fuck happened there? That was rather weird. Hey, score of 18 now. Uh, with the rat man dispatched, you turn back to check on the progress of the druid ceremony. They appear oblivious to you, absorbing, absorbed in their chanting, and the ritual continues. Oh, maybe this wasn't the best card to get first off because I have the least best. I have the least amount of gear that I can have. Your skirmish with the rat man seems to have brought you the attention of a group of bandits. Draw two monster cards, including three dust and two dust, so five total dust. I wonder if they have throwing knives or anything like that. Let's find out. Let's find out. I think the dust are probably the easiest. They do have throwing stuff. Well then, are they throwing knives or throwing stars? Regardless, I saw you 
throw it. There's another guy throwing it over there. Can I can I walk through this set? Nope, I can't. I didn't think I'd be able to. It looked like there was a little ledge there. Ow, my face. So I can't walk at the very center of the map because there's like a giant hole there for some reason. Let's go ahead and take out this throwing guy because if I can take out the people who throw stuff, that makes combat way fucking easier. Because then I don't have to worry about things coming in from afar and I just have to worry about who's next to me, basically. And if I get far away from them like that, I don't even have to worry about that. He fell off the map! <laughs> he fell off the map! I don't have to worry about them attacking me. My god, he fell off the map. I've never seen that happen. It probably has happened before, but I've never actually seen that happen. Just <laughs> oh, that caught me off guard. I didn't expect that to freaking happen. Well then, okay. The Druid Ceremony has ended as you defeat the last of the bandits. You have completed your task. Here is your reward. Draw three game cards, and the Tugger's card is now mine. So, it's hen food. I'm sure you are grateful. 40 gold. 10 gold. So, we've got 60 gold in total. Uh, the next ceremony must take must take place at dusk a week from now. Will you be there? Oh, we will be here. Okay. So it's probably the same exact spot for some reason. I'm not sure why. But anyway, Devil's Wager. Trust a devil or don't? I don't know. I wouldn't. A devil appears in a puff of smoke and fixes its evil gaze upon you. Greetings, mortal. Draw one monster card. Freaking two dust. I ever said five. Why was I going to say five? What is it, upside down? <laughs> if you defeat my minions without taking a scratch, I will give you gold. What? I reward you with gold and magical trinkets. Excellent. The devil cries with glee. It points you... It points at you with a crooked figure, saying, Let's see you prove it. What the fuck? He took all my health! You said you could do it without a single scratch. But I'll be generous and leave you with a little more. Oh my god, he took all of my fucking life. Alright, don't be. A this is too dust. Okay, don't be afraid to be able to counter. Just don't be afraid to counter. Oop, okay, if I could do this. Did I already kill the one? No, I didn't. Okay, I thought I already killed him, he just fell over. Okay, I don't want to take any chances. Is that one down? I think that's one down. Is that just remaining you? No. The other one is still alive. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh. Holy shit, we did it. I thought we would be able to. It didn't seem like it was that hard, but he took all of my life. Does he give it back? That is my question. Do I get my life back? Not sure. Hmm. You're not dead. That is unexpected. The devil waves his hand, partially healing you. Oh, I got my- okay, so I got my health back. Uh, it then disappears, leaving behind some loot. Three game cards for my pleasure. If you gain 25 health, health. I work harder to take it. Three food. And five max health. I was hoping for max health rather than just healing. Because healing is not that great when you're only hurt by like 13 damage. So, we got some health out of that. Hi, spider. Little spider friend right there next to the book. We haven't seen you in a while, or we haven't acknowledged you in a while. Holy Forge! Which will do absolutely nothing! There we go. Alright, we're gonna move on here and gain some gold. Cave Shelter! Uh, try to hide in the cave. I'm not sure if I did this before, did I? He's not giving me a tokens card right now, from the looks of it. These options. A failure. That means we fight one monster? Yes, one monster. Just two dust? Two dust is fine. Two dust ain't nothing, man. Two dust is like two pieces of dust. They die so easily, and I thought he was gonna hit me there for a second. <laughs> that would have sucked. It's like I went through an entire match of fighting two of them and did get hit once, and it's like, I get hit from a stupid mistake. Okay, dodge you. Whoa, it's actually a cave. That's pretty damn neat. It's actually a pretty expansive cave from the looks of it as well. What was that? There was something flying at the top of the screen. Oh my god, there's a bunch of bugs over there! Did you see them? Where he died, basically? Holy shit, there's a bunch of little beetles! That's cool! Two game cards. So, five max health. Oh my god, we gave so much max health. And three food! This is awesome, man. Oh, cave rescue. So, we went to the cave, and now we gotta rescue someone that we find inside the cave. It's two more dust. Attack the pirates, because fuck them. It's just two of them, and that's gonna be rather fucking easy. 
Let's kill him. Oh, this is a rather smaller cave. And there's water on the floor. Ooh, I like the little like environmental things that they think of. It actually makes it feel like you're in that actual environment, which is pretty damn neat. I gotta say, oh, you didn't hit me. So I don't know why. I, I don't know if the to toxic blood is right above all my other cards. It like juts out every now and then, like it's activated for some reason. But I'm not sure, because I don't get hit. It only activates when I get hit. Three game cards, including draw three. Choose to discard or put back on top. Choose one of these cards to put on top or bottom of the deck. Forbidden armor. What is, what's forbidden? I don't know, I just did. But I got 10 max health from it. And 25 gold. I apparently put that somewhere on the bottom or the top. I'm not exactly sure. Well then, I wanted to know what forbidden armor was because I didn't remember what it was. I think it's like a piece of heavy armor a thing with a negative be. effect to it. Yes, is. That's what... Dealer Spite, you feel a chill in your soul as you sense the powers of darkness growing ever stronger. Endless, a trap lurking in the shadows. This is an endless card. Uh, injury, take huh. five damage. So was that card added to my deck then? As long as you play and persist, we will continue to draw closer to a resolution. Very few have come close to unraveling the game, mind you. And none have succeeded. But I already beat you! So I wonder, as you go down each dungeon floor, the dealer draws you... The dealer puts new cards into the deck, basically, from his own hand. I wonder if that's the thing. Angry Guildmaster. Let's steal from him, hopefully. Let's see. Uh, we're going to slot four. Hey, we stole. What did we steal? Gain two gain cards. Clearly 13 gold. And my food. We're doing freaking fantastic. Let's go over here, get some more gold, and enter a shop. Hopefully, we can buy some amazing stuff. Hopefully. Hopefully. Let's see what's in the shop. This shop is a normal looking shop. Ah, uh, Mortal Wiss. Mercenary mercenary contract. Masters ring. The player receives one gold per ring, including this one, after every encounter. Hmm. That sounds like an investment. We'll actually go ahead and buy this year's shield. Because that will allow us to counter without using our food, which is gonna help, help long run. I could buy Mortal Wisp, and all it would do is add an elemental thing to our uh, weapon. Or I could buy Mercenary Contract. Hmm. Ah, uh, there's nothing else to buy. I think I'm gonna actually buy Mercenary Contract. It's 40 gold though. Can we get that back? What's per combat? Press two to activate an aura that makes every successful strike drop gold. Once per combat. I used it multiple times during combat. That's a little bit weird. I'm gonna buy it anyway. I'm gonna buy it. We'll, we'll probably get some more gold out of it. I'll wait till I have like larger encounters and <gasps> I need to equip my other shield now. Mm. Let me check that real quick. If we go to our shields and we go to Emperor's Jewel, 50% chance to grant one free artifact use. Yes, let's go back and equip that again. Because we might actually get... I, I'm pretty sure that we'll get at least one free artifact use out of it. Therefore, making it uses of four rather than just three. So let's go to the left here. Ratman hunting. Draw two monster cards because Ratman wants to kill us. They're four plague. Four isn't exactly what I would call a large number. Uh, do we want to use it? Fuck it, we'll use it. Why the fuck not? Let's do that. So every successful hit will drop gold. Ow! My goodness. So, I want to hit them as much as I can. And having the weakest weapon is actually going to be the best to do with this game. 
simply because it's going to do the least amount of damage, so I'm going to have to have the most hits with it. So it's, oh my god, this like single combat here has already like gotten itself paid off. That's insane. It's like already paid off. Oh my god. That's awesome, dude. I'm happy I used it then. Sweetness. So, we gain a food card from that. He draws me one. What does he draw? Oh my god, he's going through every single card. Buy food! I'm sure you're grateful for that. Oh, I found the stairs. What is that? Just rat man hunting? Ah. All sorts of terrible things live in caves. I'm gonna turn Are back, because sure? rat man hunting gets me food. It's gonna cost me six food in total to do this. And I think I'll use my ability again, my little artifact. So let's go ahead and use it. So that way I will get more gold out of this, hopefully. We'll find out. Ah, god damn it. I saw you, I was gonna dodge, and I didn't. Can I continue hitting you? Yes, I can. My god, I hit him so goddamn much. Come on, keep hitting him, keep hitting him. Whoa, gotta dodge everything. Come on, what do you got? Oh, dodging that. We'll hit you a little bit more. Get some more go Oh my god, I'm getting so much freaking gold out of this. Just so much gold. What, did it wear? It wear, it wore off. What? It, it seems like it wore off. That's a little disappointing. So it only happens once per combat. That's why it's said. But it wears off if the combat takes too long. Interesting, and then you could reactivate it. So it's kind of, the card is kind of lying about itself a little bit. Three good food, okay. So I wasted three food going back for it, but I got some gold out of the endeavor regardless. Caves and caverns. One cannot hope to find adventure without a little delving. Some more now. dealer's spite. So we put a bunch more enemy cards in. And that was it. Oh, endless. A trap lurking in the shadows. Lose three gold. So every... Oh, what's this? That's a shop, okay. As long as you play and persist, we will continue so, to draw closer So, in endless to mode, you keep going. Every single time you Very go to a new floor, to you get a bad thing that happens, whether it be you get hurt, succeeded. you lose some food, you lose some gold. I'm not sure if you could lose equipment. And he adds like five or so enemy cards to the deck. That's the way that it seems. The heck is that? That's nothing. But anyway, I will be leaving this one here because I want to leave these around to 20, 30 minutes or so since endless mode, but we will be picking this one up in the next episode. So until then, everybody.